say hi hello chrissy here coming to you from our home also known as wicked eyes chrissy this one here this one <laughs> hi how you doing how are you doing okay right habits and things right this basically i want to talk to you about the science behind habit forming and habit breaking and what happens in our bodies when we are doing this like the chemical reactions and stuff that happens within ourselves when we try to make and break habits because right this firstly you know that really horrible uncomfortable feeling that you get everybody gets it okay but that's the kind of i'm going to explain why we get that kind of icky feeling when we're trying to change something when we're trying to do something different when we're trying to create a new habit um or even break one we get that horrible icky feeling um of uncomfortableness um and that makes us kind of just want to go back into our old ways if you know what i mean so i'm going to explain that to you well, i'll try to anyway i've watched a number of videos on this and kind of learned a lot about it um and i've also tried to kind of say it in their way in their the way they say it but I just can't, words don't happen, and I'm just like, Neh. so I'm just going to explain it in my own way and hope that you get it. So, <laughs> obviously, when we kind of, when we do anything, right, our bodies react to it, with our bodies respond to it um, in just a way that is familiar to us. So if, the more we do something, the more familiar our body gets with it, the more happy it is, and we kind of hold on to those sorts of feelings so every cell in our body when we try to do something or make or break a habit it kind of just vibrates it's kind of like oh what's this like especially a new habit so say oh my god what's happening it's not like it used to be so i'm already confusing you already i, I know you i know i am <laughs> bear with me now maybe we should try with an example okay so an example of it so quit and smoking for instance okay You've kind of fed your body for so long with nicotine and this stuff. So your body has got used to it. And apparently we have told ourselves that it's good for us because we keep giving it to our bodies. So our body's like, oh, yay. Oh, yay. More of this. I need more of this. I need more of fags. I need more nicotine. I need more of this because this is what I'm used to. It's like this is how making you happy. This is this is good. But when you try and stop and put something else either in its place or just quit, your body, every cell in your body is like going, oh, fuck, what's going on? Where is it? We need, the, we need the good stuff. We need the good stuff. We need the good stuff. We really need it. We need it. And this is why we all kind of feel uncomfortable and weird and like, like, like we're addicted to stuff because, well, technically, I'm not going to go into that's a whole other argument, isn't it, whether it's an addiction or not. But anyway, I'm talking about habits. So our bodies, this goes for anything. This goes for sugar. This goes for... um just making like just something a habit that we used to do or that we do our bodies kind of get used to it and they want more of it so obviously the more we kind of feed our bodies this stuff the more it wants it so this is what's happening so within our bodies when we're trying to break a habit they're freaking out because they're like oh what's happening and then they're getting used to you you the messages you're saying so say if right for instance you're trying to create a habit now, like a new habit in the form of an old one or just trying to create one, your body's like, well, what's happening here? You know, it's just like, it's a whole new thing. You're teaching it something new. So it's going to freak out. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, what is this? Um, I hope I'm making sense. I am going a bit higgledy-piggledy. So where was I? So yeah, when you break a habit, or when you kind of do something different to what your body is used to, what from what you've told it before, it freaks out. And this is what the uncomfortable feeling is. Every cell in your body is like vibrating, thinking, oh my God, oh my God, what is happening? But then you kind of got to push through that because, it, yeah, what it's made me, it's helped me loads um, with understanding habits and it's just like understanding how we feel and why we feel the way we feel which is absolutely correct which is which is what we all need to know we need to understand what's happening within ourselves so that we can either push through and sort it out so our bodies are going crazy because we've changed something okay 
our brain is also going but we need to tell we need to be that person to be strong and to be like have the vision have something set in stone have something that you want a goal so that you can push through that so your vision is bigger than all this uncomfortableness so if you just imagine that when you feel uncomfortable or your cells are going oh fuck then that's fine because that's all that's happening. You don't need what it is that you used to need because you know deep down you wouldn't be changing it if you didn't, if you, if you know what I mean. So deep down you know that you need to change it and you need to push through this uncomfortableness and this panic that your body is going into because it's going to be better for you. Because <laughs> in the long run, the longer you go, you stick through it, you go past the uncomfortableness, your body is then going to get used to the new things that you are doing the new habits that you're creating, it's going to be like, oh, right, okay, this is what we're doing now. Okay, great, let's go with this. We want more of this. We want more of this exercise. We want more of these endorphins. We want more of this. So you just need to push through. And usually that takes around 30 days. This is why people say it's 30 days to make or break a habit. So you've kind of got to constantly push through, take the action and get through the weird, uncomfortable feelings that you have to get past it and then create it because now now like for instance my body hated the exercise that I was putting it through (laughs) it was oh my god I don't want to do this I don't want to do this but what kept me going for those 30 days was the vision and the vision my my goal and still is my goal for um my fitness journey is to do a pull-up bar on the pull-up bar just there in the kitchen just there because I still can't. <laughs> that is my only goal. I want to be strong enough to be able to pull up my own body body weight. And I'm not there yet. So I'm just going to keep going. I have a constant reminder every day that it's there. But that's what kept me going. And that was something, and the fact that I, it was making me feel good. I felt accomplished. I felt, and then your body gets used to the way you're feeling about it. So it gets used to the way you, like you're, you're happy and the, your feelings, it gets used to it all. And that's why... Once you get past the 30 days, it becomes a lot easier. And don't get me wrong, it's freaking hard still to get my ass up and get moving and to do the things I need to, especially on certain days when life happens. But that's when your vision pulls you through and you've already created that discipline. You've already kind of created the habit anyway. So as I keep saying to you, when you, well, if I don't work out now, if I don't move my butt, if I haven't got some form of exercise recorded on this watch, I feel rubbish (laughs) I feel weird I don't like it I feel uncomfortable I get that oh my god what is happening feeling because that's what's going on in my brain because I've created the habit it's like well I haven't done it I need to do it just the same with any other habit whether it's smoking eating you've got to eat but eating bad food (laughs) exercising drinking alcohol we all think our body needs it but it doesn't it's just because we've told we've taught our bodies that it needs it because that's what we've been given it constantly um so it's just about changing the pattern and changing what it is changing your story within here and then your body will follow through so if you keep feeding it the good stuff the stuff that you want to do you like exercising every day eating healthier I'm going with those because that's what I know like and if you're quitting smoking it's the same thing it's exactly the same so I hope I've made sense I've kind of gone off track a little bit um so yeah (laughs) your body is just freaking out because it's not what it's used to that's the only thing that is why you feel uncomfortable in those kind of moments and it's like oh my god what's happening, what is going on, what are you doing, why can't I have cigarettes anymore, this is what your body's doing because it's used to, that, so all you need to do is hold on for that 30 days, be strong and create a new pattern, create a new habit and create, uh, tell your body that it needs this now, not that, it needs this, this is what my body needs and you're going to listen to me, so you just need to do it, keep doing it for as long as you can for like yeah and it gets easier and easier and easier and your body then stops resisting and it starts like oh okay I'm happy now okay I hope I've made sense 
that's like 10 minutes of rambling if not um if i have if you've got any value from this then please please share or please subscribe to my channel um like it share it love it comment message any of those things uh because your feedback is so appreciated and very words <laughs> Your feedback is, yeah, I appreciate your feedback because it tells me that I am actually helping and I'm giving you value. So, yeah, I'm going to shut up rambling. Oh, my God. You are wicked awesome. I believe in your ability to change your life. I love you. Goodbye.